well, we've been a little bit busy. So, as with everything, it's coming up to midsummer. It's the middle, the 21st of June is actually midsummer, halfway through the year. And what we've um, been doing is we've been harvesting some of our uh, early crops, which have been coming in. So you can see here the peas we've been eating. We've also been eating the uh, salads and we've also been eating the young Swiss chard. The nice thing about the Swiss chard is that you can eat it really tender and tastes just like spinach. And now it's the turn of the garlic. Now this is garlic that we put in very early in the year and what you're going to do, you can see garlic is often ready when it starts to die back a little bit. One of the mistakes people make is they allow this to run to seed and you can see here the seed heads are just starting to come on. This is starting to go to seed so that's well ready. What that means is if you don't pull it now you're going to end up with a very small tube where it's going to make a lot of seed. So what we want to do is ideally get to that before it, that happens because we end up with a bigger bulb. And you can see here, look at these bulbs. Good sized bulbs. Remember these were from seed so we're not going to expect massive, massive bulbs. Um, but we do get a nice garlic bulb there and oh beautiful smell now these were uh, a little variety called a uh, garlic rose so a little stronger than the average garlic so we never really want these to be huge tubers because we're not going to eat um, that overpowering garlic uh, in that quantity at this house so what we're going to do now people often kind of chop the tops of these off and then go, go off and use this garlic but we are going to try and keep it what you need to do um, is and this is the thing people forget garlic is takes a while to grow and also a while to preserve we're going to take all these we're going to bind them all together and we're going to let them all completely dry out so all this green will be gone and it'll all be brown the purpose behind that is that we then have a nice dry bulb that will keep all the way through the year if we cut it now that garlic will probably only keep a few weeks because what will happen all the moisture will get into the bulb and it'll become um, infected and you'll just start to rot. We don't want that to happen, so we're going to dry it out first all the way down and then we can cut it and get there'll be no moisture to go back into that bulb. And we'll have nice tubers of little tubers of garlic all um, winter long. So that's what we're doing here. And then we're going to repurpose the bed. So we'll just keep pulling out these last bits of garlic. Look at those, pulling them out. And then we're going to reuse this bed. We're going to use this for peas. And one thing that we should always try and do is make sure we get all the old crop out and cleaned out. And that's what we're doing right here. Especially if you're growing things like garlic or onions or potatoes. If you leave a little straggler in, you're going to end up digging it out for years to come. So always make sure we get all the bulbs out. And there we go. Cleaned out. And you can see here we've got one of the, the strawberries is uh, sending out a sucker and we'll uh, deal with that one later. That's the nice thing about strawberries, you can grow them in and around various beds and that's exactly what we're doing here. And there you go, we've got a nice little area of ground to clean out and we're going to use that for uh, our next sowing of peas. Over here in the spinach bed, you'll remember we planted this up, we're now on our second sowing, this is Swiss chard. Uh, bed now we've, we've transferred that over and we've also um, got our kohlrabi going in here which is where we put in early carrots which we've already had up so that's what we've been doing here uh, for the last couple of weeks tune in uh, in a week's time and we'll have another update for you toodaloo i'll try to get a cup of tea bye bye